Can you see anything inside the metal bowl? No. Let us pour some water into it. Now you can see a colorful round coin rising up in the bowl. Where did the coin come from? Well, the coin was already inside, hiding behind the wall of the bowl. Let us do it again. We need a small metal bowl, water and a colorful round coin. We keep the coin at the bottom of the bowl. Push the bowl away from you till the wall of the bowl just hides the coin. Stop pushing as soon as you lose sight of the coin. Now pour some water into the bowl and what do you see? The coin seems to rise up in the water and is visible again. The wall of the bowl fails to hide it anymore. So what happened? The light from the coin in absence of water travels in a straight line. The wall of the bowl prevents it from being seen. When we pour water, the light from the coin refracts as it comes out of the water and bends. This bent beam of light reaches the eyes quite easily and so the coin can be seen. This phenomenon of bending of light at the interface of two media is commonly known as refraction of light. It occurs because the speed of light is different in different medium. Now that you are aware of the illusion of refraction, do not be fooled by the depth of a swimming pool as it appears from the sides. The deep pool bed appears elevated because of refraction. Look for more examples of refraction and different kinds of illusion they give rise to.